Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bog Otter and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Today we're going to be looking at the new Black Lion weapon set, the glittering weapons that are just been added to the game. And if you're not familiar with how I do these videos, uh, basically I'm going to give you my gut reaction to looking at these weapon skins and kind of, uh, you know, just give you my overall impression of what they look like. I haven't seen these yet. Now right now we're in Lion's Arch over here in the Black Lion Trading Company and there's a vendor here that always has the newest stock and you can see the glittering axe skin and etc they right now they cost one black lion claim ticket this is the cheapest they will ever be once a new weapon set comes in this price will increase you can get black lion claim tickets from the black lion chests um, and you need black lion keys to do that you can buy the keys from the gem store there are some ways to earn them in game as well um, but you can get them out of there you can also combine 10 black lion claim ticket scraps into a black lion ticket and also get them there as well and these skins are tradable so you will see these are probably already on the trading post for varying degrees of gold all right so without further ado i'm going to start uh taking a look at these and uh, i'm judging by the name that uh, these aren't going to be all spooky like some of the other weapon sets but we'll see what these look like here i have my interface turned up large so we can see the uh the skins brighter all right let's take a look at the glittering axe skin here we go. All right. We got a butterfly axe. It looks like... I like how it looks stained glass. It does have a cool particle effect on it. These are totally Aurora Peachy weapons, aren't they? All of these are going to be Aurora Peachy weapons. <laughs> Aurora Peachy is another YouTuber. She's got uh, her... You know, uh, she does her own kind of impression videos. But we, we joke all the time because everything that comes out on the Guild Wars 2 gem store is either... A Bog Otter item or an Aurora Peachy item. And very, very few things meet that Venn diagram in the middle. These are Peachy weapons. <laughs> it definitely looks cool. It, I can't see... Oh, here we go. With my character wielding this, I mean, it just doesn't work. I should probably get my butterfly wings on and then this thing and run around with, with this outfit on. Because <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right, so here's what it looks like. Stowed. There's the axe. Wielded. And weapon only. It is a beautiful skin. It's totally beautiful. Just doesn't fit my Norn. All right, here comes the longbow. Next up, longbow. All right, we got more butterflies. Oh, she <laughs> she's going to buy every single one of these. This it actually looks really cool. I could definitely see like a Solvari ranger running around with this thing. Very neat. When are they going to add... Of, co of course, my, my mummy back piece here uh, is obscuring. Everything's so large. Let me take that off. So you can see that a little better. There we go. That's what it looks like on my back. When are they going to make it uh, possible to dye the weapon skins? This would be really neat if you could put different types of colors to this. It would be really nice. Because you can actually replace this blue color with like green or something. And maybe the pink. The little pink highlights in there. You can make those yellow or something. I don't know. It would be cool. Alright, so the longbow is pretty neat. Short bow. Okay. Very similar theme going on there. I like how there's a crystal just kind of floating, doing its own thing over there. What are you doing, a little magic crystal floating in there? What are you doing all by yourself? Again, I love that I'm wearing this armor for this preview. <laughs> I should be on a totally different character to really show these off better. But, uh, alright, so there's the uh, short bow. Next up, we'll do the dagger. That's pretty neat. It goes on a similar theme. This actually looks more flower-like than butterfly. Let's see if it's wielded. I like... You guys know, I like when the daggers are are, are big. You can actually see them. I, I hate when they're tiny little, like, stickers. And you can barely even see what you're holding in your hand. It's a nice gigantic dagger going for you. That's what it looks like stowed on my character. Alright, pretty neat. Let's see what the focus looks like. Focus! What is that? Oh, okay. But from the back, it was like, what? It just looked like a big... <clears throat> All right. It's pretty cool. We got the... It's the same thing going, kind of going over and over. We got the butterfly over here. We got the flower over here. And the little crystal floating, doing his own thing. That's what it looks like. Like that. Wielded. Got a big thing in my hand. And stowed on my other side. Okay. Great sword. Enter big flowery butterfly great sword. There we go. It's pretty cool. It's very twisty. It's not symmetrical. I like when things aren't symmetrical. Um, kind of neat. I like how this is not repeated the same on this side. And that the, the actual shape of the blade is different. 
Definitely, I definitely feel a, a Solvari vibe to all of these. I don't know. It doesn't fit my character. I'm not, I'm not loving on these. I'm not loving on these. The hammer. No! No! It looks like you would hit somebody with that and... You know what it looks like? It looks like a, like a, a hitchhiker or a hobo stick with his like little bag of goodies on the back of it, you know? He's got his like spare clothes or his... <laughs> on there. No, I can't even see... How does that even do damage? How does that even do damage? It's like... It's like this. Like, you get a tissue, you kind of ball up one end. There you go. There it is. Alright, that just looks dumb. Alright, <laughs> moving on. Hammer is not my favorite. That's probably my least favorite. Alright, and the mace skin. I just don't see these as weapons. These all look like scepters or magical, like, auras to me. I don't see somebody, like, bashing someone in the head with this. It looks like it would break. It's too delicate looking. That actually looks cool. It, it does have a cool look to it. Just doesn't look like a mace. Alright, pistol. It's actually one of the better ones. It's got a sleek look to it. Of course, it clips a little bit with the outfit that I'm wearing. I like the pistol. Which is strange. I don't normally like the pistols or the rifles at all, but this is actually pretty slick. I think so far, like, the longbow and the pistol are my favorite. The rifle skin. Again, I like that. That's pretty neat, too. Yeah. You know why? I, I'm Because I'm buying it as a weapon more. That's why I like this more than some of the others. I'm buying it as a weapon. It looks slick. It looks like it I could actually fire and, and hurt things. Pretty neat. Alright, the scepter I might believe as well. Yeah, that looks like a scepter. Yeah. I'm believing these. The ones I believe in. I believe in Crystal Light because I believe in me. What? Um... Yeah, I don't like this. It's weird. I like this preview. This I like. And then when I wield it in my hand... It looks a little odd. That's what the scepter looks like. Let's check out the shield. What are we going to do here? What are we doing with the shield? Shield's kind of nice. I like this one a lot. You can have a Solvari Guardian. Run around with this. It's got a nice a little particle effect on it. I like the shape of it. It's a cool color scheme. I like the shield a lot. Oh, there's things actually flapping. What are the? Oh, that, that's my that's my outfit cutting through there. Ignore the flap. Do not look at the flap. All right, and the staff. Okay, here we go. Is, is that is the haft a little thin? I don't like when the the it. Yeah, it's a little thin. So it doesn't look like it fits in my hand well. It's not thick enough, but it's all right. I like the scepter. I like how the, they did the scepter better than the staff. Yeah, that's not my favorite. This whole theme is not my favorite, if you can't tell. But I'm trying to be uh, a little bit objective because I know there's other people that really probably love this look. Um, you know, it just doesn't fit a scary Norn warrior that I try to try to present myself as. Let's look at the sword. All right, again, I like that it's not um, it's not symmetrical. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. You know, it's weird. It's really strange. I like a lot of them in the preview, and then when you put them on your character, they just don't look the same or as good. So, I don't know why that is exactly. I can't put my finger on it. All right, so that's the sword skin. We've got two more to go. Torch. Torch I like. Torch is well done. It's got a little bit of a different... You know, it's more white than anything else. There's the different looks for that. And then, what are we going to blow on? What are we going to blow with? We're going to blow into that. Apparently, that's what we're blowing into. We're blowing into a big leaf. I wonder what sound it has. A lot of the horns have a different sound effect. A lot of these black lion ones, they actually change the sound effect for. So that's the torch. All right, overall, not my favorite set. I do admire the aesthetic. I do like that there are different options of the game. They can't all be, like, fiery, badass things, right? It, it's cool to have uh, different things for different types of characters. I actually have a couple of female characters that maybe some of these skins would work well with. I'm going to say, overall, let's see, what is my favorite? Is it the longbow? It might be the longbow. It's definitely not the hammer. This thing, that, that tissue, that tissue whipper. 
Uh, I think it's this. Let's see, the pistol, the short bow, and I also like the scepter and the shield. I'm gonna go with the longbow. Longbow is my favorite. This is my favorite right here. Well, that's gonna wrap things up. Let me know. What do you think of this weapon set? Are you gonna get any for your characters? If you do wind up getting them and you craft an outfit around it, send me a screenshot. My link's down below for Twitter and Facebook. Hit me up on social media if you have a screenshot of yourself uh, uh, using one of these uh, weapon skins. I'd love to see it. And uh, that's gonna wrap things up. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you hitting a like before you go. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. Hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.